Uh, looking from another point, I believe that he was a young president, uh, ill-advised, and we paid the price. And I believe that actually he was killed because he tried to amend that. Uh, after he was able to pull the brigade out of prison, he opened the armed forces of the United States for the brigade members. I became a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army in 1963. And then he promised us a special operation, which was started in Central America in three different bases and not, not many, many people know about it. But then he was assassinated. And a lot of people believe that uh, it was only one shooter. I believe there were two shooters. Uh, we have information that there was a Cuban, uh, which is now a retired general, Fabian Escalante, who was a captain at the time, who was in Dallas. And he was the second shooter in the assassination of the president. Well, you just, okay, I'm sorry, will you say that one more time? What's his name? Fabian Escalante. Escalante, Fabian Escalante. And he was in Dallas that, that day, and then he left. Uh, it was something that, the, and, the, and Castro said that, that the, the, he knew that Cuba, uh, the United States was trying to kill him, but be very careful because the Cuban also had a very long hand. So it was a matter either Kennedy or, or, uh, or, or Castro. Uh, I think that that's how he got killed. In, so you believe that Kennedy was assassinated by Cuban forces, Castro. Well, great, great thing, yes. Remember that Oswald was in the Cuban embassy uh, for several hours before he went to Dallas that day. And we also have the fact that there's no question about it that Fabian Escalante was there. And then Cuba denied at the beginning that he was ever in the Cuban embassy. Later on, when they learned that we, as CIA, we had pictures, a movie of him getting into our embassy, then they say that they went into a, a, a very distinct uh, check and they found out that indeed, yes, Oswald was in the Cuban embassy and they claimed that he came in there to get a Cuban visa and he was denied. Do you believe the CIA had any role in Kennedy's assassination? No, I don't think so. And uh, he came out fine. And the only guy that I really don't like at all because after that he's, he asked me to testify in his committee was John Kerry. Why didn't you like John Kerry? He's a funny. Uh, he was no war hero. To be honest with you, I, I I was invited when when he ran for president, the Vietnam veteran for the truth, make a big rally on the west wing of the Capitol. And at that time, they asked me to be one of the speakers against him because what he did to me, you know, he accused me of receiving $10 million from the Medellin cartel for the contract, which wasn't true. You know, I was, it, it was a pain. It was very hard for my family because I was flying in El Salvador and my, and my wife called me and said, look, it's from patient the Miami Herald, your picture when you were in the army that you received $10 million from the Medellin cartel. I said, you know, that's not true. She said, I know, but here is a subpoena from Senator Curry's committee. Do you know that he was never, ever wounded in combat? He doesn't have one bullet hole in his body, and he claimed three, three uh, purple heart to be able to leave Vietnam. He knew that there was an unwritten law that if you got wounded three times in one tour, you could request to leave Vietnam. Yes. And that's exactly what he did. What he did, he scratched himself. He claimed it was from a, from a hand grenade. He never got a bullet hole. He got scratches. He always claimed that he had been wounded that time, get a, get a, a, a purple heart. The third one, they, it was denied. The guy didn't say it was, it was worth it. He had to wait until they changed that guy to be able to convince the other guy to give him his third uh, purple heart. The War Medal Reproduction Purple Heart is an authentic replica of the actual Purple Heart Senator Kerry may or may not have been officially awarded. This Purple Heart is a free gift from a political party like the Democratic Party and is not affiliated with the Swift Boat Veterans. This Purple Heart is a free gift when voting for John Kerry and a shipping and handling fee of $4.99 will be charged to the voter. This Purple Heart is not valid in the state of Florida and is really, really valid in the state of Massachusetts. For an additional $40, a Viet Cong POW will be flown out to your domicile to shoot you in the foot to add to the authenticity of your Purple Heart replica. Vote for Carrie now. War Metal Reproduction Inc. is not responsible for any additional injuries or gangrene that might result from your foot wound or any other wounds inflicted by your POW. This is not a real Purple Heart, but it's close enough. And that's why he left Vietnam. And then he went with Jane Fonda, uh, talking about the, our people in there. Uh, it was a shame. Because today I see how our people treat the military with respect in the plane. At the time when I came back, they would not even wear their uniform because they were called were war criminals and all of that because of John Kerry and Jane Fonda. Yeah, but, um, and, and the guy who really destroyed the CIA was uh, Jimmy Carter. How? Well, I remember I talked to Shackley. He told me about it. We had very high penetration, for example, in Al Qaeda and in Sendero Luminoso. 
If we had those people, 9-11 would have never happened. When Jimmy Carter became president, he asked for a briefing from the CIA. And he wanted to know how those penetrations were handled. So Shackley was the one in charge because he told me personally, he was the one in charge to brief the president Carter on that. So he told the president that you have a guy who infiltrated into a cell. He, the guy was becoming to, a, to a more and more access higher in the organization. He will come up, for example, with an operation that we're going to do a terrorist operation. So and there is a very pragmatic group who will study the operation. If what's very minimal uh, damages, they will allow the operation to go through. Because if every time you have a guy inside and the operation fails, they know somebody's infiltrated in there. So there you have to allow some operation to go through with minimal uh, casualties. <clears throat> Jimmy Carter said it was immoral to do that. So he actually ordered all of those penetrations to be terminated. Where do you think this country is going right now? Well, I hope it changed. Uh, a lot of people used to say in Cuba it could not happen here. A lot of people say it could not happen in the United States. After what happened in Cuba, what I have seen in other places, I am concerned uh, about this country. I hope that uh, we can regain the presidency because uh, this thing goes to what they call socialism. Of, uh, uh, it will be a disaster. We will never know the United States the way it is. I am concerned because I know what happened in Cuba. And unfortunately, we have a lot of professors at high-level university who are leftists, who brainwashing the head of a lot of our bright students, and that's a very concern to me. You can find all of it on TuckerCarlson.com.